Welcome back to Plug and Play EV, I'm Steve, and in this one we'll be catching up with Iona, the DC fast charging network of eight OEMs who are trying to make a splash in the ever-expanding waters of DC fast charging across North America. We have some news on providers and vendors who will be helping them do that, so let's take a look at where Iona is as we enter the fourth quarter of 2024. So the last time we had any news from Iona was over the summer when they had selected Durham, North Carolina as their HQ, having previously set up shop for a little while in Southern California. A hiring spree started from there, some presence on social media, but all still press release fodder and not a whole lot of uh, action on the ground. We did have, uh, in the intervening period, Toyota join them from the previous seven. So another big name to the pile there, but still a little bit short on details about where they would start. But as usual, it requires some digging to get the details. Uh, we did get uh, some information on the Houston Rechargery, which we've covered on Coast to Coast EVs and a little bit in some of the previous videos. So that's a, a site in Houston, Texas, which is quite a small footprint actually, but uh, next to a Starbucks, looks like it uh, will be at the very least the first permitted site for Iona and got some early details there that there would be canopies, amenities, some vending and uh, up to 400 kilowatts of power. So that led us thinking about some of the providers and the manufacturers of hardware that can uh, hit that kind of level so kind of gravitated to the top of things like Kempower, Alpatronic, ABB and some of the bigger players in the space. So since then some active scouts online have uh, dug up various permits. Texas has emerged as a pretty significant hub of Iona activity you've got in addition to that Houston site we had Plano come up on the list uh, then two sites in the center of Dallas and another one in Corsicana so I'll put these up on the screen here what we've looked at in terms of the permitting activity and planning and then happily for me not having to drive all the way to Texas to check out one of these sites we also got word of one in Reynoldsburg Ohio which offered some pretty detailed site plans gave us something of a glimpse into who Iona will be using for their hardware and contractor services so let's jump into that and take a look at some of the site plans So one of the reasons the Ohio site is of particular interest, apart from being a little bit closer to drive to if I want to, is the open nature of the site. It looks a bit bigger. It's on a former CNG filling station. So uh, you've got more space there. It's kind of designed to have that forecourt feel. What we'd seen previously at the Houston Rechargery site It's a very narrow footprint. Looks like it's on a one-way street system and uh, could just be more of a limited scope site. So this gives us perhaps more of a feel of what Iona will do when they really have space to uh, spread out. You're going to have six dispensers on the main forecourt that we'd call it uh, with uh, pull-through stalls on either side so more of a European layout to that and then uh, set across further to the other side a seventh dispenser with ADA compliant spaces. So uh, those will be more likely pull in but then you've got the uh, six dispensers dual shared power at 400 kilowatts so potentially 200 kilowatts for each stall that's there uh, putting it at a grand total of 14 stalls so what hardware well the 400 kilowatts as we had uh, kind of thought about was uh, only going to yield certain providers and it looks like Alpatronic will now be the main provider we don't know if there will be others uh, in the mix as they go to different sites but we've had Alpatronic's uh, headquarters launch again in North Carolina over the last couple of weeks they made a big uh, celebration of that and this is going to be starting where the rubber meets the road so that we get some actual installs in the ground and uh, Iona will be a big part of that by the sound of it. If they only go with uh, Alpatronic then they are sounding like they're going to start this build out pretty quickly here. Then you've got Alpatronic also providing um, hardware for BP Pulse and the Simon partnership and Mercedes-Benz at their high power charging sites. So you start to see a pretty bright uh, ramp up for Alpatronic there. And with the reputation that they come with from Europe, that's uh, certainly a good thing and puts Iona on a good fitting from the first step. Uh, topic of construction, there's a familiar uh, little blue owl in that site plan for Reynoldsburg, Ohio, which is uh, good news really if you look at some of the uh, speed of the Pilot Flying J rollout because that owl services crew, who are contractors who will design the site, get it into the ground and uh, all buttoned up, that is a crew that has uh, rolled out some of Ohio's Nevi sites very quickly and uh, seems to be doing a very good job on the Pilot Flying J sites as a whole. 
So good news to see them in, obviously good news to see Albatronic, you know, going on their European track record. So you start right out of the gate with a lot of the things that uh, EV drivers are asking for, pull through stalls, multiple dispensers, shared power, not so much what people are asking for, but at 400 kilowatts, you get 200 kilowatts shared. If that pans out in the real world situations, that should be more than enough. You have a crew uh, rolling these out and getting them in the ground that knows what it's doing, has worked on a lot of different sites and is certainly familiar with Ohio. And you have a well-funded, deep-pocketed network that has uh, eight OEMs, potential to test a lot of different models there, really, hopefully to streamline it rather than to make it something that's done by committee. And hopefully, having hired, been on a hiring spree through the summer and here into the fall, uh, getting a team in place that is going to be able to really ramp that up quickly and uh, make the most of the sites as they start to get commissioned. So as I was recording this video, Iona actually went to press and confirmed that they have broken ground on their first site at another new location in Apex, North Carolina, which is not that far from their HQ in Durham, North Carolina. So we're talking uh, three states now in play with Ohio and Texas that we already mentioned, and the first one broke breaking ground actually being in North Carolina there. So this site is interesting. We have the renders rather than a site plan in this case, and we can see again just confirming there are albatronic charges or albatronic shaped charges in the background there but from the permits we know that those are actually going in at other sites so we can be fairly sure of that now plus this one has uh, five bays it looks a little more pull in it's a smaller footprint maybe like the rechargery in Houston but interesting to see the actual visuals and how they're looking at it all the usual kind of suspects of canopies the amenities of, a, of an indoors rest area 24 7 access pet amenities, squeegees most likely, and uh, all the kind of things that we're looking for. So that's it really, there's just, just some names to the network now, as well as Iona having Alpatronic and Owl Services in the corner, puts up, uh, sets up a really good team potentially to roll out the sites we already know about, and hopefully get that expansion beyond the Texas kind of metro markets that we were starting to see into some of the other states across the country. Obviously it's early days yet, we don't know when these are going to start going live, but by the end of the year you'd expect to see one or two sites start to pop up and have some kind of idea about what Iona is going to look like. As so what do you think of the uh, start of the Iona network here? Is the location and the contractors and hardware that they're choosing filling you with hope for this uh, nascent network? Or is it still a lot of press releases, just a lot of information rolling around and you'll only really start to feel uh, more promise about it when there's actually stations in the ground and dispensers charging vehicles? Let us know on those questions or whatever else you're thinking about the Iona network. Thanks for watching as always. Let us know what you think down in the comments and we'll see you in the next update. Cheers.